What's up guys? Today is Friday. Finally Friday. It's snap on Friday. Right there is Hamilton. We just got his AC fixed on his truck, so hopefully it being cool in there this week, he'll have some pretty hot deals. So let's take a look. Come on. It's working. I can feel it up here. I don't know if y'all can feel it or not, but if y'all look up in that hole, it's good cold air coming out. It's a drastic change than what it was about an hour ago, isn't it? Yeah, it was a solid 40 degrees warmer in here an hour ago. <laughs> <laughs> it's Ooh. been a, that's what I told class, this week's been a very, very short week. Not just because of having a day off with Labor Day, but I'm getting home at two to three o'clock every day because it's the, by after lunch. It's too hot to be back here. Well, tell everybody where the leak was. The leak was in the compressor, actually, on the the very nose in the clutch part. Behind the clutch is, is a seal. Uh, we, of course, like I said, we put the AC machine on it. It pulled the vacuum down. Of course, then we notified it was obvious right then we had the leak. Could get no more than about 10, 12 inch pounds on the uh, vacuum. Put pressure on it, but it hold 180 pounds of pressure. Did some researching and everything. Couldn't figure out with the that seal is beveled in. Well, when it's pulling, it's just opening it up, but with the pressure, it close it off. Yep. So unless I could, I guess I had to put 180 pound of Freon in there to help hold it closed, but <laughs> <laughs> it's cheaper to buy another compressor. And put, well, we got her blowing ice cubes now, so yeah, it's back working like it's supposed to. It's nice. Fresh actually wasn't very hard to swap out either. No, it's out and open. It's pretty yeah. easy. Hardest part was getting a wrench in there to take the lines loose. Yeah, pretty easy, easy, easy. Mm -hmm. And then the machine done the rest. We just sit back and watch. Sit back, it. waiting on it to kick on, so we can uh, <laughs> see if it's gonna work. Talk about vices and porticos. Yeah. So. There's been a lot of people asking about this snap-on vise. I know last week there's like three or four comments and obviously it's made by Wilton. Yep. And his is a five and a half and mine is a six and a six half. Six and a half. And These right here, as of course everybody can see from this side, it says snap-on on it. Uh, I mean, if you do pull the sticker off, it does say Wilton back behind it. Uh, and everybody knows Wilton has the best vices out there, and that's who Snap-on used to make our vices. They had a problem with them for a while, contract issue or something, I'm sure, and we couldn't get vices for a few months. Now we're back getting them. Our selection is a lot smaller, but they did send us a book. That's why I showed on Clay a while ago. Uh, have a bunch of vices that we can get. We just got to go directly through Wilton instead of order through snap on so if you guys want the same one that hamilton's got it's this one right here on the wilton name it's called a tradesman yep so that's the same vices right here yep and the number on this one is a 1755 uh the number on clay's is 1765. Yep. of course it'd be WV 1755 or 1765 because Wilton Vice. Mm -hmm. um, of course, now if you look in the book, they don't say snap on them no more. They just left the snap on name off. They just leave yeah. the Wilton name on there, and you only got about, was it, three or four selects, maybe five selections. We used to, we, we could choose 10 or 12. Well, we could used to get every one of these through snap on. Mm -hmm. Now but we're only getting four or five of them. Any guy can just tell their snap on dealer that's what they want. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Well, the, the number is still active in the system. Right. It's just not in the book. Like I said, this one is a WV seventeen fifty five A. Now, so it's W WV v and then seventeen fifty five A for a five and a half. A six and a half would be WV seventeen sixty five A. There you go. Um, and them are some fantastic vices. 
Well, as I, everybody's seen on here, these vices take a beating. And if y'all watch any Clay's videos, you damn sure know that they take a beating. Yeah, I use mine to every metal break. Yeah, <laughs> everything. So, I come in one day and he had, I think, the torch was mounted right here, just beaming straight down on it. He over with an eight pound sledge banging on a piece of metal. To, <laughs> I don't own an eight pound, sir. That's a twelve pound. <laughs> well, yeah. Let's <laughs> yeah. say with an eight pound, you get hit it three times, you get to twenty four. With twelve, just sling it twice. That's but yeah, how many? They're tough, it? man. I beat the dog piss out of mine, and one reason I have is because I knew if I broke it, I get another one. one. Yep. And that's, I mean, no sweat. That's what I told Clay. He's like, "Well, how many of these have you sold?" I said, "Actually, I've sold a lot of vices." And I mean, you tell somebody it's an eight hundred dollar vice. Then it was 750, but now they're 835. Uh, and you said and mine was over a thousand. Yours was over a thousand on the six and a half. Uh, let me see what it is now. It was over a thousand then. Nope, they're good vices, no yeah. doubt. Still over a thousand. It's over and a they, thousand. Yeah. They, uh, yeah, lifetime warranty on them. Of course, I mean, they got the replaceable jaws. You can get copper jaws or brass. Mm -hmm. You can get slick or aluminum, whatever you're working on. You can get, that. and the jaws ain't harder to take off. Yeah, it's just two yeah. flatheads, I think. I think it's flatheads in there, ain't it? Uh, now these are hex. Okay. Yeah. I can open up some more if I need to. Yeah, that's good. And they, uh, I, knew, I they remember go. seeing the screws in there. I was thinking those flatheads yeah. for some reason. But we did, somebody was asking one time, I was asking about them, I said, they're pretty easy to fall off, take out, I believe. And we took two of them out, I think it was this side, actually. And they just fall right out. Um, so when you gonna sell the other stuff so I can win my speaker? Well, that's what he was talking about that earlier, he was asking about it. I said, I ain't really been pushing it this week. I just been blowing through the route, getting to the house. But now since we're back in- uh, Full swing with AC? Yeah, we can back, get back to selling tools now. <laughs> I asked Hamilton, I said, why does Snap-on not fill these up, you know? Go ahead and add the ones in between it. Let's, it would look better. Yeah. He said, that way you can put your own in there. I said, then they won't match and you have to buy all new. Like you have to That's buy high vis plan, channel though. locks. <laughs> it's easier selling a, a $300 plier set than it is a $600 plier <laughs> set. <laughs> I guess that's right. <coughs> yeah, no doubt. Here's what? something I ordered a few of uh, a couple weeks ago, finally got in. Um, there yeah. was somebody asking for that part number on that just the other day. These, and I was like, yeah, I got that set. I had a whole bunch of them a long time ago yeah. when you got them, and I ain't been able to get them for a while. Well, now I've seen that they're back in stock. It's 204 FIHC. It's a heavy duty truck hose clamp socket mm -hmm. set. Uh, half 7 sixteenths, a 10 and an 8. Extra deep, aren't they? Yeah, they're yeah. they're longer than the mm -hmm. normal impact sockets. I've ordered I ordered ten of them to get them in because like that would last a while. I got two left. I just have them. <laughs> you can see, I ain't even been out here going through all my stuff yet because you can't be in here. It's been too hot. But most of the guys I ain't even big truck guys. Yeah. I mean they're just buying them because that's the four that they mm -hmm. want extras of, you know. And they're a little bit deeper than yeah, they're deeper than the, than the standard. One. Yeah, there's a half right there. So you got what? Half, half inch, inch or so, so, yeah. I know them things make charge air, you know, changing charge air cooler hoses a lot easier That's just because you can run them all the way down with a ratchet, yep. electric ratchet, pull them all the way back off. Uh, one guy bought them when he read it and everything. He's like, well, I can use these all the time. And I was thinking, I was like, I don't didn't think he worked on diesel stuff, you know? Mm -hmm. And then he's like, well, they don't even fit all the hose clamps. So I was like, I, well, I told him, I said, it's not for regular hose clamps. This yeah. is for all your turbo stuff, for big truck stuff. Mm -hmm. And uh, so I told him, I said, I gave you money back on them. He said, no, nah, I'm still keeping them. He said, that's all the, he said, that's what he said, I like They're the good, deep ones. Good size. You ain't got to put an extension no. on them in, you know, some yep. places too. So It's a very handy set. They're like a hundred bucks. So it is. And, uh, good sets. I saw another one that we sell a bunch of. Talking about a long one. Yep. 10 millimeter. STMML10A. 
probably hard to get that picture. And so what is the specialty part of that one? They, they don't have a thing in the system about what the special, it just says a extra long deep tin, I would say. Um, I guess whatever you needed to use it for. <laughs> it's long, isn't it? Yeah. Now we got these, they're even longer. Right. But these do have a specialty use on BMWs. BMWs, yeah. On the bumpers, bumper front cover. and rear bumper covers, mm -hmm. you got to have these to get them off. I mean, you don't have to. Right. You can cut the bumper cover on the back side of it, which most of your customers ain't going to ever know that. <laughs> right. But they will, uh, if you don't do it the correct way, then you got to have this one for the bumper covers. And that cage off socket's a real nice thing too mm -hmm. for brake cages yep. or brake chambers. Those things are. We, uh, really good too. Yeah, we, we sell a bunch of both of these. Probably more of these. Probably could Hold them out and that way people can see how long. Let me get a regular 10 out of It's kind of hard to tell how Same long it thing. is. So about two and a half, four and three quarter, and six and a half. Yeah. Yeah. That's a big difference. That's just, I mean, that's just some specialty things that. Like I said, most mechanics don't buy these. This is a body shop tool. Yeah. Uh, I have sold them to mechanics just because they're like, dang, I ain't never seen a tin that long. So they <laughs> buy it. You know, it's not very much, I don't believe. That's usually the deal. If you ain't got it, you're like, hell, I might need it. Yeah. I might need it one day. $38 Yeah. for that socket. So the, I guess if you... My father-in-law got three or four of them. He's a body man, though. Yeah. I'm the, he buys three or four of them because he, he'll lose them, then find them later on and stuff. Mm -hmm. uh, I ain't it sure happens. About this one. He had no doubt. <laughs> well, it looks like you sold all your blue ratchets. Yeah. They didn't last long, did they? No. Yeah, so the all blue ones. We got a couple of the yellow ones and the gray ones. This one's $36. With the chrome? The chrome one is to snap on. The number on this one, if y'all want to know, it says BMW uh, 10160, but it's made, it's AST BMW 10160. Um, is the actual number on it. Pretty cool. <coughs> yeah, we sold all the blue ratchets. Uh, I think I got one blue hammer left. Yep. Just this one. They went fast, didn't they? Everybody likes that blue. Yeah. I got another one right here, but the guy already, he called me back. And he's like, hey, put that one to the side for me. So I put it to the side <laughs> for you. I try to do whatever to do I can. It. Yeah. Do whatever I can do to help everybody out. There you go. Uh, well, I guess we're going to get in here and wrap up the day and call it a week and, and uh, go home. That'd be the weekend. Got birthday parties and yeah, birthday party tomorrow. Deer Good camp night. work on and all kind of stuff. Cold beer needs to be drank. All the important stuff. Yeah. <laughs> I probably do. Clay got the birth the kids' birthday party. I'll be working on deer camp, so I'll probably be drinking more of the cold beer than he will. Mm -hmm. I start earlier than he will tomorrow. We st we drink apple juice yeah. when the little ones is around. Capri Suns. <laughs> I can't be hating on Capri Suns, though. They're good. Yeah, we just drank one while ago. Yeah. Like a real one, not like a pretend it's called a Capri Sun. <laughs> <laughs> that was a real Capri Sun. Yeah. They just made them in a 12-ounce can because you don't get enough of them in the little big There you go. Pouch. Wouldn't them be good with some whipped cream vodka in them? Yeah. Woo. Man. So Capri Suns, <laughs> help us out. <laughs> Make an adult version. There you go. <laughs> All right, guys, like always, thank y'all for hanging out with us today. If you enjoyed the video, hit that thumbs up. Check over here for merchandise, cool tools, and discount codes down here. If you're not subscribed, take your finger and click that button. You guys have a great week. Catch you later. See ya.